Hello, what's up, YouTube? And happy Friday the 13th uh, to everybody. Uh, we're going to be opening up the uh, Brute Customizer Pack in just a minute. Going to let everybody join in. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Uh, this is what we're going to open up in just a little bit. And we're going to do a Q&A after that. So stick around. We don't need this right now. Just hold off a minute. Hello, Braden. How are you? Excellent. Just trying to get the uh, chance where I can see them. Uh, be just a second. Good, good. All right, I think I got it going. All right, I got my coffee and I'm ready to do a live stream with everybody. Happy Friday to everybody. Friday the 13th. Hopefully it'll be a good one. And got my chance ready. I can read them good. Okay. What's been going on, everybody? How are you doing? All right. So this is uh, what we're going to open up. Check it out. It's uh, You can pretty much see everything that's in there. Uh, the only thing that's kind of obscured is these two little uh, weapon... Uh, boxes uh so uh we're gonna open those up this is one i kind of been wanting from the banished uh brute uh faction we're gonna open that up in just a minute i'm just letting everybody join in um i made a couple of videos this week uh one is uh how to customize your uh spartan kind of highlight some of those hidden details you might want to check that out and i uh, got the um watchtower up showing you how to build that i uh, didn't really narrate that much because i thought it was pretty self-explanatory and if you want to check that out um you know you can pause it and slow it down or whatever if, if it's too confusing but anyway that's i said i'd get that done this week and i did hello road warrior how are you hello halo scout hello click i'm running out of battery so I will hopefully get all this done within the hour. I loved after things. How are you? Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Usually that's a bad thing, but today it's a good thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and open it up. I think we got around the, the usually the usual crowd um so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then we can talk about it a little bit and then i'll open it up to a q a in just a second hopefully i won't cut my hand off i try to open these without tearing everything up but you never know what's gonna happen all right well i don't think we need the instructions but i'm gonna go ahead and get them out anyway just to give you a quick quick glimpse of them um they show you how to put it together even though it's already put together so a little bit redundant but that's okay all right we've got a couple of cool things in here inside the little box that they give you uh, get you a good look at that that's uh, what you're going to be putting your weapons in after you're finished with them or storage Something like that. Kind of cool. And I guess you... Uh, let's check that out. Uh, you can put the blue one on the blue, I guess. And then the... Orange on the orange. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that kind of does look like a rock a little bit. My goodness. Who are they trying to keep out of this? I don't have time for these packages. Okay. A little stand for your, uh, your figure to go on. And I'm assuming they go something like this. It's just a normal size knife. You know, a little box cutter. Comes in handy. 
I like it okay. The great thing about it is when the blade gets dull, you can change it out and uh, have have a fresh blade. All right, so I get that and try not to cut my hand. I don't want to bleed to death on a live stream. My goodness. All right, same as before, except this one's orange. Uh, a little extra stand. Uh, go ahead and get that done. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's another hot one. The news has dubbed it an Arkansas day. And I would agree with them. Okay, so we got that done. Ah, a little shot of coffee there. Okay, and um, so we have a blue and an orange armored brute. Get these out of here, and I'll get you a good look at them in just a second. I just want to get everything out of the package so I can get it out of the way. I've already lost a helmet. All right. Get back on there. Alright. Now for the weapons. A really cool uh, gravity hammer. Look at that. Just awesome. Really good details on that. A little bit of wash on there so it looks a little... A little worn, a little used, like that. It's hung in there, oh my goodness. I'll never get this out. There we go. Spiker. Really good details on that. Uh, right up on there. Good job with that. We got a brute, uh, brute shot. That looks pretty plain. Nothing too spectacular there. A spiker grenade. That's kind of cool. Very rubbery. I guess I don't want you to step on that. Barefooted. A brute shot. Uh, got a little bit of a cyan kind of color to it. I don't know if you can see that that great. But that's pretty cool. I guess this could be a brute plasma plasma rifle or just a regular. I'm not sure. This seems different. It seems a little bit more rubbery than the main one. See how rubbery that is? Something new. I didn't expect that. And a trip mine. Uh, so that's all you get. Uh, pretty cool little customizer pack. We're going to get a good look at the figures in just a second. Let me check the chats. I'm doing good, Halo Scout. Hello, Zero Films. Okay. Let's get a good look at the... Uh, I got my little stand here I'm going to use... I can get it to go on there. How are you, man? Let's get a good look at the blue one. Up close. And then maybe I can show you uh, him without the armor on or yeah, maybe just the helmet. Really good job. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like the details of it. I don't know if you can see it on, on his uh, wrist there. It's kind of a cool little... Where's my little thing at? Got this cool little... Like a blade. I kind of like that. Um, what's some, what's some uh, intimidating shoulder pads right there? That looks pretty cool. 
Overall, pretty good on the orange. I like or the blue. I mean, let's get a look at the orange. Up, oh, get a good look at him with that his helmet on. I like the uh, darker brute color than the uh, the light one, like on uh, some of them. Looks just a little bit more realistic. Anyway, get that back on there. All right, let's get a good look at the orange guy. Pretty much the same thing on the armor design, just orange instead of blue. Trying to let it focus here again and kind of tilt it, tilt it back a little too much. Maybe his head can go up a little bit. There we go. He looks pretty good. I guess you could have some orange versus blue with the brutes. And let's get a look at him without his helmet. All right. So that is the uh, customizer pack. A little one I picked up. I like it. I think uh, when you're trying to find a bunch of brutes uh, for your collection, they're a little harder to find than most. Not as hard as the flood figures, but still, uh, it's good to have those. As far as I know, they're uh, pretty still uh, in conflict with most of the uh, Spartans, the Banished. So even though the Sangheili have joined up with uh, the humans, uh, the Banished have sort of created their own faction and become uh, still a, a good enemy for for the humans and the elites. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the weapons in there just to kind of so I don't lose them. For now, uh, maybe that'll fit in there. Yeah, everything fits in there pretty good. Well, some of them. The hammer, eh, not so much. That's not gonna fit. Uh, brute shot and the spiker, no problem. Okay, so I just gotta find a place for the hammer, and then I'll be good. All right, guys, that's the the uh, the customizer pack. I thought there'd be a little more to it, but uh, anyway. Let me check the chats real quick. Ah, yes, they have uh, removable helmets. That's kind of cool. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could take maybe some fingernail polish remover and take that color off if you wanted to. I don't know if that would be a, a good idea or not. Maybe cover it up with some paint if you... Uh, temporary paint. Uh, if you wanted them to look uh, the same. Or maybe you could color uh, the orange blue and the blue orange. I'm not sure the best way to do that, but... Um, I don't know. Checking the chats again. I do have a, one other thing I want to show you. I'm working on an animation right now, and I'm using the uh, Enforcer and the Recruit, and I went ahead and did my little technique of uh, highlighting those details. I don't know if you can see them that well. This isn't uh, optimal but I did use my little dry erase technique and let me see if I can set him back a little bit get him in the light uh, yeah you can't really see it that well but anyway uh, I thought that would add a little bit more realism to it uh, maybe this one will show up a little better I can set him back and get him in the lights uh, maybe right there you can kind of see and what's great about that dry erase technique is it's not permanent and uh, you can take it off uh, when you're done and keep everything uh, well I mean once you open it it loses its value but still you can get them back to uh, to their original state without any permanent damage so that's that
Let me check the chats and see how everybody's doing. Um, are you referring to these or these? Uh, Dafty things. Uh, probably the orange if I had to. Uh, I don't know, maybe... A little bit more intimidating than the blue. I feel like blue is kind of a uh, a cool color, maybe a little less threatening than orange. So I would give it to the orange one. Yes, I love the Enforcer too. That's one of my favorites. Zero Films, uh, unfortunately, after the video of me putting the uh, watchtower together, that was actually in reverse. So I took all of that apart, and it's no longer together. Um, I have all those pieces uh, kind of going back to uh, their respective vehicle that I robbed them from. So I can't, I can't show you the, uh, the watchtower anymore because it no longer is, is uh, put together. Uh, but uh, when I get ready to animate with it, I'll, I will put it back together and use it uh, later. I just don't think I'm going to be using that anytime soon, so I didn't want to lose anything. Hello, Deathstroke. Um... Yeah, they don't they don't walk real great on the base plate. Um, that's where you know you have to use a little bit of skill to uh, to kind of get them to stay on there. Um, a lot of people use sticky tack. I, I try to stay away from that just because I want to make it look uh, as real as I can and not have anything that looks uh, unnatural on there. Uh, but yeah, they they do have a hard time. Uh, some of them do better than others, especially. Uh, I want to say the the newer ones are a little bit more friendly towards uh, staying on the on the stud and not falling over like some of the older ones do, uh, and you know that super articulation really helps with that. Uh, having the be be able to move the figure in lots of different uh, positions can uh, help balance out that and keep them from falling over. Yeah, sorry about that. I then took the uh, the watchtower apart. It's no longer. Uh, I don't. I didn't think I was going to need it anytime soon. So, and then the video that I showed you putting it together is actually in reverse. It's me taking it apart, and I just reversed the footage. So that's that was the easiest way I could uh, film it going back together. Was actually just show me taking it apart piece by piece. Little trick uh, I picked up. Kind of fun. All right, I'm kind of just uh, opening it up to a and a If you guys want to ask some questions, I'll be glad to, to answer them. I've got plenty of time. I've done got my, uh, my set that I was going to show you uh, done. So I thought that might have took a little bit longer, but there wasn't very much to it. I would do a blue team animation if I had more blue characters. I think I only have two. Uh, a Mark V and... Um, I guess you could count Carter as a blue one, but I, I don't think I have any more blue. So West do you use? Thank you, Zero Films. I, you know, I try to every down then uh, do something uh, on my own creative. I, I don't want to hog all the credit because, um, you know, it was in the game and. Uh, just because someone hadn't made it doesn't mean that they wouldn't eventually. So, I mean, I just kind of maybe got, got ahead of everybody and, and made that before anybody else did. And I'd like someone to make one and, and see their take on it just to see, you know, what uh, what differences they can make. Uh, that one was 340 pieces. I think if you were a good builder, you could probably get it down to maybe 275 or something like that. And uh, not require as many pieces. FOS, I'm not sure what that is. Hello, Scout. Hello, Brendan, how are you? Happy Friday the 13th. 
Hopefully there's no Jason Voorhees around here. Uh, let me go ahead and get this, this out of the way. Ah, yeah. I think you were, uh, FPS? Was you talking about that, Halo Scout? It ranges from, uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, if you, if you have a character that's talking, it's a very slow frame rate, and then if they're walking, you know, it's a little bit higher on the frame rate, so... I do have caboose somewhere, but uh, uh, it's not handy, so I can't I can't show that to you. Yeah, that's a uh, road warrior, John. That's a uh, that's a good way to do it. Uh, I seen people take a, a large uh, thing of clay and put down on their uh, their tabletop, and then you can have them uh, kind of walk walk through there. Yeah, that works. Whatever works for you is uh, is good. Uh, I don't like to make a big mess. I try to keep everything uh, clean, and uh, the very little clay that I have is all kind of messed up anyway. So I don't want don't want to use that. Yeah, thank you, man. I, I plan on the. Uh, I've got about four more live streams, and then uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, just animating. And I've already actually started animating something else, but I'm doing it on the inside of the house because it's really hot out here. Um, but hopefully, it'll start cooling off, and I can get back out here where all the uh, all the supplies and uh, everything I need is is handy. So hopefully, that won't be too much longer. All right, man. See ya. Thanks for stopping by the uh, live stream. Brayden, I'm not sure. Did you know he looks like six? Are you referring to uh, Noble Six, Brayden? I think that's uh, George. I do have uh, one other thing I can show you real quick. Um, get this thing out of my way. Uh, this is... Uh, there we go. This is uh, something they had at Hobby Lobby. And it was uh, on sale, I think, uh, for like eight bucks. So I went ahead and got it. I got that, uh, even though it's not Mega Bloks. That's kind of just something I wanted to put on uh, display. And we got uh, we got Fred and Kelly and uh, Master Chief there. I think I took the batteries out of this uh, just because I didn't want them to corrode. They might still be in there. Whoop. Yeah, I took the batteries out. But anyway, this is a uh, Warthog. Um, so we got all of, uh, blue team here. I thought there was four people to blue team, but I guess maybe there's only three. I'm not sure how that goes on. It doesn't fit on my little display shelf with the, with the gas cans attached. Man, what the heck? Oh, well, we're going to leave them off. Uh, but anyway, this is, uh, kind of like a little, uh, uh, I forgot the name of it. Revel, I think is the name. Uh, and these guys kind of come out. Uh, unfortunately, they're not as, uh, they're not articulated in any way, so you can't really pose them. And, uh, let me see here. Let me get you a good close-up of the chief here. He's in the, uh, sitting position. And I think the idea here is you can kind of paint these up and customize them, and that's something that I'll probably, uh, I'll paint, uh, with actual paint, uh, since I'm not too concerned with uh, it getting damaged, but you can see the proportion sizes are are a lot a lot different. Um, this one is very almost like super long legs, 
and but the arms are about the same length and the helmets are about the same length so uh, so he goes up here and then we have uh, we have Kelly over here she's holding her shotgun just waiting to go unleash hell on someone so that's that uh, for eight bucks that, that was hard to turn down uh, and I'm pretty sure the uh, the tires are compatible. You can you can take these tires off and put on uh, probably a regular warthog. Let me try that real quick just to see if it works. I have one here somewhere. Tomorrow. So here's the. Uh, this one's a lot shorter than uh, than the uh, the previous uh, warthogs. So this is not not the best example, but. Uh, it's about the same size as a normal uh, Mega Bloks, uh, maybe a little bit wider than uh, the ones that they they currently make. Or this one is the I think the newest one I have. So the proportions are a little off on that. But I'm gonna see if this tire will fit on this one, just real quick, because um, I don't see why they wouldn't. Basically the same setup there. I'm sorry, we're getting bored. All right, this one's a little, a little too, uh, a little too thin, so it won't fit on that one. But maybe a different one, it might. Uh, you never know. And I could probably make it fit if I had to. But yeah, you know, give this one a little bit of a, a monster truck feel. Let's see if this one fits on that one. While we're just goofing off. We can have a tiny mini tire uh, warthog, maybe. I don't know if I can do this without messing it up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. It would help if I could take this off, but this is one of those snap tight, so once you put them together, you can't really take them apart. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should have did that before I started the stream. I think I can get it on there if I just... I want to break it. And I also don't want to mess up the, the snow tire here. Yeah, it's just not going to fit uh, with the current my current circumstances. But anyway, you get the idea. I thought maybe that uh, I could use these uh, these brown looking almost tan uh for maybe maybe showing some uh some mud or some dirt so anyway that's that um uh, there's a gas tank that goes on it but it's off put this back together before i forget All right, I'm going to check the chats real quick. Hang tight. Um, Noble Six is the only one from uh, from Noble Team Noble that uh, that I don't have. Uh, if I get that one, I think I'll have all of uh, Noble Team. So. I'm probably going to have to order it online because I uh, can't find it. Yeah, I guess Linda is the one that's not, not in this one. Um, so I don't know what. It only came with three. And you can see that from their painting um, that you could go in and paint these uh, with some model paint and make them look a little bit more realistic. I kind of wish some of the stuff would have come off, like maybe they had the head where it could turn, or this this pack on the back that could come off, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, and I didn't put this all the way down in there, because I, I, I like uh, how it looks without it, I left that off. Or I, I didn't stick it in there all the way where it wouldn't come off. Oh man, my battery's going low. Oh well. Well, if you have a spare one, that would be great, man. Uh, if, if you have, if I have a Noble Six, uh, I'll have all of Noble Team, and then maybe I can do a uh, a reach animation. That would be fun. 
Um, who knows? Going back to this, uh, this was really easy to put together, like maybe 10 minutes. And uh, I think the idea here is you can put, I think it came with some stickers too that I, that I put in a sticker box, so I'm not going to use those. But uh, very plain looking. This would be a great, like, uh, little RC car if you wanted to make an RC one. Um, I really like the inside of it. Like, they did a really good job with the details on the inside. This is something I might use uh, for an interior shot of something just because it has so much detail uh, and you can kind of move the steering wheel a little bit uh, but uh, a lot of good detail in there I think I'll, I'll probably use that for an interior uh, at some point if I have to um, and these guys kind of fit in there uh, pretty good let's check this out um, a little bit big for them but um, it's not without out of the realm of uh, reality for them to fit in there. Uh, of course, it's a different story on the turret because uh, it's just way too high up. Uh, ah. Get on there, man. If you just hang on to it for just a second, we can get a look at it. Come on, stay on there. He's not going to do it. Come on, really? All right. It's getting crazy. There we go. Uh, so the, the proportions are off a little bit on that. So not a big deal, but uh, this this one I kind of wanted just for display maybe, and I might, I might experiment with uh, painting with this one so uh, I don't mess up my uh, things that I use all the time. My little, my little Mega Bloks people. So that's that. Uh, one new addition to my little Halo, Halo cave out here. Emil, I like Emil too. Uh, so I like Emil and Double Six. Um, spoilers. Uh, uh I'm just checking the uh, chats. Yeah, hello, Scout. If you got an extra uh, Noble Six, uh, I'd be glad to trade you something for him. All right, guys. Uh, I got uh, plenty of time here to answer some questions if you guys want to. Are you are you curious about anything? Um, I can show you a couple of things. Uh, I have a lot of stuff uh, put up at the moment, so I might not be able to dig everything out. But I got my coffee here. I'm ready to relax and kind of just answer some questions that you might be having. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's cool. If you're uh, if you got an extra one, I sure would appreciate it. Um, some stuff is really hard to track down and I live in a small town so I don't always get uh, the stores don't always get the uh, the sets that you want uh, so I, I have to be kind of choosy with what I get but yeah I, I would appreciate that I'll give you a shout out for sure <clears throat> I do have a, uh, where did that thing go? I have a Weta, Weg, Weta Works. Uh, let me put that back on there. So you can get a good look at him. Um, I kind of like this figure here. I can show you that. That's a new addition. He comes with the uh, plasma launcher. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm not crazy about the design of that. Uh, mainly because it's hard for him to hold it in his hand without it looking weird. 
if I can get that in there. Yeah. I mean, he kind of holds on to it, but not, not real great. All right, I'm checking the, checking the chest real quick. I do have cat. Yeah, cat, cats want to have, uh, have cat, uh, June, Carter, and George. So I just like a meal and double six. I do have Instagram if you want to check it out. It's, um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I want to say it's Andrew Kaufman on Instagram, but I'm not certain. Uh, you can check that out if you want. I also have Facebook and uh, Twitter if you guys want to follow me. or um, I usually say some funny stuff on uh, on Twitter every now and then. Uh, I don't really do it that much, so I mean... That's totally up to you. That's cool, man. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the Weta Works. I showed him. I showed you that already. Part of the. Uh, Stormbound uh, blind pack. Uh, I could never get a hold of the people that that these were gifted, so I went ahead and opened them. I have the other one somewhere, but I don't know where he's at. I'll have to dig him out later. Anyway, um, man, that's a good question. Do I want to figure this stuff out later on email? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you, yeah, you should have my uh, email, Halo Scout, if you want to uh, email me or something. That'd be fine. Uh, I'm not sure what which uh, set cat comes in. Comes in. Um, I'm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know for certain. Um, so I, I wouldn't tell you. I don't want to tell you the wrong information, but uh, you could probably look it up. A simple Google search. Uh, the Brute Chopper, yeah, that may, that may be one of them. Um, yeah, I'll put my Instagram in the description uh, if I have time today. I'll I'll put it in this the description of this uh, video here. Uh, also, a link to my Facebook and my Twitter if you guys want to follow me on that. I'm not really big into those things, so, I mean, uh, you can follow me just to have somebody to follow. Every now and then I'll post something, but uh, usually I just use it to, uh, if I have a new animation, I'll I'll, uh, I'll tweet the link to it or, you know, Facebook the link. Um, you know, kind of drive a little traffic to it from some of my people that, that are my friends and followers. <clears throat> Anyway, so uh, back to the Q&A. If you guys got any questions on uh, anything, I'd be happy to answer them. It's real hot out here, and I'm ready to go back and watch uh, Ancient Aliens. It's one of my favorite shows. <clears throat> the coffee is strong today. I would say maybe 50 to 75. I don't really have a lot of figures. I mean, I have a lot more uh, Spartans than uh, elite and Elites than I do anything else. I've only got a few Brutes and a few uh, few Jackals, few Grunts. Uh, I may have 100. I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably post a video at some point on where, the, where I'm at on the minifigure collection, and I'll have all of them there, and I can do an accurate count. Uh, here lately, I've been getting uh, you know one of these uh, little little figures uh, once a month, or I mean once a week, uh, just to just over the summer since uh, so I have something to show you in the live stream. Uh, but it's not as high as you'd think it would be. Hello, Ghost. How are you?
If I'm missing anybody's question, I'm sorry. How are you, man? Happy uh, Friday the 13th. Uh. Does anybody have any more questions? <clears throat> I don't think I have anything else to show everybody. Yeah, that sounds right. I think I think the uh, chopper has the cat, so that's a good one to get. The chopper is a good uh, good little build and uh, a good little uh, vehicle collection. Yeah, it's good to have a good variety. Um. Like, how many people? Like, I'm not sure what that, that question is. Um, so, I guess if I had... A three is about the only amount that they'll hold unless you have, like, a troop transporter one. And uh, the only one I have is the uh, the police one that uh, was missing some pieces. Um, I don't know. This one uh, would hold a lot, uh, actually, since it's a lot bigger. Let me see if I can find a regular Warthog, not that snow one, um, real quick, and we can get a size comparison. So here's like one. Um, it's not too much different, but you can see it's a lot longer than the uh, the snow one. Uh, this one's a lot shorter, uh, significantly shorter, I guess. Uh, and this one's just a little bit bigger, uh, stands up a little taller. Um, so they're close to the same size, but not not exact. And I like uh, see how this one is very uh, narrow, and this one is more like a like widened out, like a Pontiac. Uh, I like that a lot better. I like that look uh, better. Uh, this seems more more stable. I know they have to they have to do a certain thing, um, but in a couple of my animations, I've I've actually widened out the middle of it uh, by two just to make it. I don't have one for example, but uh, uh, I have done that before just to make it look a little bit more uh, wider uh, and then not change the look of it too much. But anyway, that's uh, I like to look at that a lot. This one a lot better. It looks more uh, more natural, and it would have a lot more stability, you know, if it was wider. Kind of like a Humvee is wide. Uh, what the heck? Got the uh, wheel coming off there. <clears throat> All right, Daphne. Thanks. Uh, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations on that contest win. Um, probably Master Chief is my favorite uh, character, but I also like uh, Noble Six because you can kind of uh, impose your personality onto him, onto that person. Uh, and there's a, a couple other ones I really like. I like Emil, and um, you know, there's some great characters. Sergeant Johnson is a good one. Uh, I like him. So. Hey, all right, you're doing a collab? That's great. Yeah, Click Studios is good. Okay. That is great. All right, guys, I got about 7% left, and I'm going to have to call it. I forgot to charge my uh, iPad, so if you got any quick questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, I like uh, Wyoming Productions. His is good. He he comes out with videos uh, fairly frequently. He's one of my favorites. I like uh, Alexis Gutierrez. He's good. 
he's he's one of my favorites and uh motroid x Productions is, is a good one too those are probably my top three all right yeah man yeah anytime you can collab with another youtuber that's uh that's that's good for you your, for both of your channels uh so you can uh, kind of share in uh, your respective audiences. Like there's some people that might be subscribed to um, Click Studios and not subscribed to you. So when you come together, it kind of merges your fan base. And, uh, you know, uh, that person that you collab with is wanting to show off the video that you did together and then you're trying to show off the video. Uh, so anytime you can collab with someone, that's a, that's a really good uh, way to kind of kind of boost your subscribers and kind of reach a new audience so anytime you can do that uh try to do that if you can uh i know a, a lot of youtubers are very far apart and it's hard to uh to get on the same page with a co collaboration but uh uh there there are ways to to make it work the my favorite halo game um I like uh, Halo Reach was one of my favorites, uh, but I like the story of uh, Halo 2 probably the best. I get that up there where it's not going to fall down. <clears throat> yeah, I like uh, I like uh, Reach a lot. That was uh, kind of like the last two raw of Bungie. Who knows? Uh, Halo 6 Infinity might be everyone's new favorite uh, when when it comes out. Uh, hopefully, they'll do a good job and uh, kind of. Halo kind of needs a shot in the arm, you know, to keep it popular with uh, with uh, new audiences and uh, kind of bring people back that, that they've kind of uh, uh, disenfranchised or whatever. All right, man. Uh, yeah, hit me up in the email. And um, I think my Instagram is uh, Andrew Kaufman and my Twitter is at Andrew Kaufman, Andrew J. Kaufman something. I don't know. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's a hot one. All right, guys, I got a few more minutes and I got to go. Uh, my battery's about to die, so it may just cut off abruptly. Kind of like a man. What's his name? Sergeant Forge from uh, Halo Wars. That's a good one. Just checking the chats real quick. Um, probably Halo Three is my favorite as far as gameplay, and then. Uh, I like the story of Halo 2, and uh, Reach was a lot of fun. I spent a lot of time on that one. Uh, and those were all good memories uh, for the most part. Uh, but probably 3 is my favorite, even though the story is kind of weak. Uh, I do like the, the very first one, uh, which kind of got me into the, uh, the whole Halo scene. But uh, I would say probably Reach is my favorite. Um, Halo 3 had that expansion pack, uh, the ODST one. That one was a lot of fun, too. I like that one. Any other questions? I've lost five pounds from being out here. It's super hot. I should probably be drinking cold water, but I'm drinking coffee just because I like coffee. Does anybody else have any other questions? <clears throat> if you haven't checked out... Um, uh, the oldest one is, uh, the very first set I got was, um, the USC Mongoose versus the Covenant Turret. That's the oldest set I have, even though it, 
might be it might not be the oldest like it's the first set i got so to me that's the oldest one i have um so that that's the oldest one i think i have uh yeah um halo 2 it's a it's one of those games where you probably love it or maybe some people hate it some people didn't like the part where you play as the arbiter i thought that was kind of a a nice little addition to to the game uh kind of seeing how two sides of a, a conflict can uh, come together uh so that's uh that was different i don't know if it was uh the best for the franchise but it was certainly uh it stood out and and then you got to credit them for taking a chance and letting them uh letting you play as the arbiter a little bit kind of understand his uh his story and his his side of things yeah halo 3 odst was a uh, was a fun one i really liked that one um i'm trying to think of some other games that uh maybe you get to play Is it Halo 2 or Halo 3 where you could play as an Elite? Maybe that was Reach uh, in multiplayer. I thought that was kind of neat too, uh, even though not very many people played as an Elite. But I thought that was a, a cool way to do uh, do the multiplayer. Hey, Stinger, how you doing, man? We're about to wrap up this one. Uh, I'm, my battery's almost dead, and I'm going to I'm gonna have to call it. But if, if you... Uh, if you want to check it out, we opened up the uh, Brute Customizer Pack earlier and kind of went over the weapons and stuff. Uh, if you want to check that out later. <clears throat> yeah, I like that uh, the aspect of it. Uh, you're a little bit weaker in, uh, in ODST than you are at, as, a, as a Spartan or even in Reach where you're, you're still Spartans. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's an interesting dynamic. Uh, well, I don't really play with this stuff either. I kind of just use them to work with. Uh, I like the Brutes, man. They're a good enemy. Uh, and I like the... They animate a little bit better than the uh, elites as far as uh, making them walk and do stuff so they're a lot more like uh, the uh, the Spartan figures as far as being able to kind of control them a little bit better uh, so yeah that's a good that's a good gravity hammer I would call that the hero gra gravity hammer since it uh, looks really good on camera oh man that ain't that ain't good Any more quick questions before I have to go? I have to go here uh, pretty quick. Uh, have have some things to do. And plus, my battery's going dead. I got time for maybe one more question. If you hurry. If I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. I was uh, in a bit of a rush and I forgot to charge my... Uh, iPad, so I'm going to have to go here pretty quick. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. I need all the people I can to kind of check it out. Anyway, um, if you want to know how to kind of customize your figure a little bit, I did a video on uh, using some dry erase markers. You might want to check that out. And uh, sorry about the audio on that. That was uh, messed up a little bit. Um, and I was in a hurry trying to get that one up. And I showed you how to make the uh, watchtower. That's another good video you can check out. Be sure to give it a like and let me know that uh, you like it. That also helps me uh, get a feel for for where I need to be going as a as a creator. Oh, it's got to be the pistol, man. The Halo One pistol, though, not not the uh, the subsequent ones. That was my go-to weapon every time I played Halo with my friends. I would just get the pistol and just run around shooting people. Um, 
A second one would probably be uh, the Battle Rifle was a good one. So I like that one too. The Halo 1 pistol is my favorite. Uh, probably Halo 5. Uh, kind of They kind of lost me as a franchise there. I, I wasn't that into it. I really don't like the Prometheans that much as an enemy and... The whole dynamic of Halo 5 just didn't... It just didn't do anything for me. It wasn't... It didn't have enough of uh, what I was used to. Uh, so... That's probably my least favorite Halo game. Is uh, Halo 5. Uh, Halo 4 is... Is uh, also not that great. But uh, it's a little bit better than 5 in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Anyway guys, I gotta go. I'll see you next time. Uh, be sure and check out the live stream next Friday from 3 to 4. I know it's a little bit early, but I have to, I have to quit. And I'll, I'll see you next time.